and the topic of this video is how many horses there are in New Jersey, uh, okay. right? How many horses the they are in New Jersey? We know, we bought three houses today, so we know they are like... We only bought three, but they was like, we sold hundreds, it's like everything is for sale. But now, about the horses, we do not know Yes, are the horses for sale? Number one, what is the average price of a horse in New Jersey? How many horses there are on the marketplace? How people sell horses? Why they would sell horses and why they would buy horses? And that's the whole good questions for us to ask, but here they are. Now, do you know how to bring them here to tell them? You, what do you do? Meow? What do you do, Yorick? I have no idea. Come up with some attractive sound for horses. Hey, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Это для donkey. When I was a kid, we had a donkey. So, the donkey goes like this. Why they don't come? Because they don't care. They have the fresh little grass and they eat. They are not interested in us. They are... Hey guys, excuse me. People, horses. Why you are not no, paying attention? Now we found three horses here. And uh, that would be the video, I guess. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. That's right. Come, 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 come. I don't like you. He said, he said, I don't like this guy. Maybe I can pretend that I'm a horse. <laughs> okay, I got interest. Interest. Attention. Interest. Decision. Action. No. No? has no interest, no decision. All right, now, I saw something else here. You see that house? You see the missing house over there? You see that missing house over there? Yeah. Now, let's study this house. You see, this is like they a... They just destroyed it and they want to build something. Well, we don't know if they destroyed it. We do not okay, know. We just see what it is and there is a house here if you have the imagination to see the house. I already see the house in my mind. Now let's look at the reality of the physical evidence that once there was an idea here or maybe it was actual house. Yes, that is the ground. Okay, this is the ground. And that was the fireplace. This is was the ground and the basement. Yes, there was a house here because I can see. Ah, it was a log house who opa. There you go. The the forensic investigators, yes. Investigation and here, it was yes. a big fire. It was a big fire. Interesting. Oh, look at that over there. Now we see clearly. Isn't that in? Isn't that interesting, Jozik? The Daily Bean. I don't know. It looks like something, but. Once there was a house, once there was a house, house with the fireplace. And now maybe that's the reason. You know, maybe the kids took some woods from the fireplace, throw it on the carpet, and it was like a luscious, cool, good carpet. And then all of a sudden, and then boom, 
your investment go to to the ground and we're gonna come to this wisdom of the centuries uh, it simply says all structures will go down to nothingness the Sun will one day be a dead star the Sun one day will become you know in many many years but uh, you, you can see here that's what's going on this already happened to this property so now we have the remains the remains the fireplace and obviously there is activity here somebody is about to do something we don't know maybe this has been sitting for two months three months five years we don't know like uh, my estimate is this has been here for a few months or uh, years but anyway there is the how you call that oh the well there's a big yard in the back and it's uh, yeah maybe the guys that are over there maybe they own this property we don't know who owns the property but now if you're a real estate investor of course you can uh, make an offer uh, you can hire the construction team that was already here trying to start the renovation because we see the remains of the construction team still here a generator ladders the construction van I guess yes uh, you, you can even get the plate if you are like a savvy guy you can check the you know that this is the guy that is here yeah, I see some drawings over there so this is the construction guy and here we have the our friends we wanna talk to our friends again again to talk to our friends hey guys hey guys I'm talking to the horses but they are very busy with their with their eating activity all right now I show you they are happy today they are so happy they are so happy all right now we are in uh, today we are in Vernon Township in Jersey uh, this is the quiet country life that people have horses you see now if you live in Europe you would not know that people in America they have horses so, so much horses there now a fun fact for you I once didn't know because my father was a, a horseman he, <coughs> he loved horses when he was in the army he was in the cavalry right this was like a long time ago 1940 1950 whatever so uh, I he loved horses he had horses and when I was a kid in my village you know we had horses couple of one or two I don't not too many anyway so they are very nice animals and when I came to America in New York the big city you know with the lights and I was thinking uh, well I see no horses but in Central Park a few horses and then I found out a fun fact that all the way up to Henry Ford with his automobile company created the Ford Motor Corporation the horses was the primarily way for the American people to move right Henry Ford came change everything but there was many millions of horses in America but the fun fact is now that now in America there are more horses than that they used to be in 1930s 1903 1905 1907 whatever number of horses they were back then everybody had horses now there are more horses in the United States of America than they used to be 
when they was the primary way of transportation. And that fact was kind of very strange to me. I was like, wow, I don't know where are all these horses, but now I'm in Jersey. I'm driving around. We are in front of the Daily Bean. And we see horses everywhere. People have houses, horses, yojeks. People have yojeks, hedgehogs, I mean. Uh, what do you think? Do people have uh, hedgehogs? How many hedgehogs should be like pets in America? Uh, I don't think it's legal. Oh, really? Um, in this state, we can Google it. Huh, you can Google everything. But people want to have hedgehogs as pets. I just want to tell you the fun fact that I recently discovered about horses. And I want to see how you're going to react. Now, you know the horses in the past, they was like very... Everybody had horses before. Of course. In 19... In 18... In seven, when, when the settlers come in America, everybody was moving with horses. So there was many, many horses. And, you know, Henry Ford came with the automobile and blah, 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 no more horses. With but, the horses. That's right. But now I read a fun fact. Mm -hmm. It simply says that now there are more horses in America than what used to be in 19th century. Ah, you see, yeah? You didn't know too? Yeah, I didn't know and I was like, wow, that's impossible where they are. Yeah, now they are just primarily as pets. And like, what they serve, the purpose of, like the cats. Right, it's mostly 